Hey guys, it's Crystal. I am sorry that I have been completely absent for the past like week and a half or maybe even two weeks. I don't know. I've kind of lost track. But my internet's been down and I've been busy and homework and just everything else. I'm sorry if you hear that dog barking, blah, 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 dog barking in the background. I got a new puppy. In fact, I, I think I might show you her because I feel like it. This is my new puppy, guys. She's, she's, she's just, this is her eighth week living on this planet because she's so puppy. But, um, anywho, I'm just going to hold her for the rest of this video as long as she doesn't start crying or anything. Um, but her name is Frosting. Anywho, so I'm here to do a very late, mm, what month was it last month? Uh, keep on wanting to say April. March wrap up. One of the books I don't have, and that was because it's a library book, and I haven't exactly taken it back to the library, but I gave it to my friend to take back, and then she never went. Regardless, I don't have the book. So, in the month of March, I finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books, which was actually on target, but I was still behind because in... February and in January I had not finished the proper amount of books that I was supposed to for reading a hundred books before the end of the year. So I have seven of those books to show you right now because like I said, um, the book, one of the books is, um, not here with me and that one was Invisibility by David Levison and Andrea Kramer. I think I gave that book like four out of five stars. I actually did like it more than I had heard it deserved because I heard I had heard that it wasn't a great book like for those two authors it wasn't a great book for them writing together but I thought it was pretty good. So anywho the first book that I read in the month of March is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Oh my goodness, I cannot put into words what this book made me feel. I was in ingredient slump for about two weeks because of the things that had happened at the end. I was kind of forewarned and kind of spoiled, but it didn't like fully click into my head how significant that was for the thing to happen to actually happen. If you have not read this book, it is one of the most powerful things that I've ever read in my lifetime as far as an effect that it has it has had on me like on a personal level stop frosting stop stop <laughs> um anywho so that was book one the second one was kind of a graphic novel and that was mercury by hope La La lawson Lar larson Lar larson definitely La larson this book was one of the few that I got in the end of March that I never did a book haul on and probably won't. But I have this book and I've read it. <laughs> so it exists on my shelf. The next two were two of the Doctor Who books that I got for my birthday. And they were... And, and, the, uh, bleh. and those were The Pirate Loop and Revenge of the Judon. Drudon, I should know how to pronounce those. I've watched Doctor Who almost all the seasons. And then I read Jacob I Have Loved by Katherine Patterson. I wasn't wild about that book, but it was alright. Then I read Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear. I read this with um Zanetti or Zanetti or whatever from The Fault in My Books. And I, we didn't like talk about it every three chapters or whatever like sometimes you do when you read books with someone but we just I was just kind of like oh you have that book oh we should read it and then she was like oh well I'm gonna start reading this now so I read it and I ended up really liking it so that's what I did and then also I read this and I had spoken in my March TBR about me reading one of the books that I was sent for review. I was written by the author to see if I wanted to read one of her books and it was luminous and this is not the whole manuscript. I have another like, I don't know, 30, 40 pages behind my bookshelf but this is the one that has a title and this is the majority of the story. 
I was thrilled to get offered a book to be sent in for review, and I read it, and I really liked it. I rated it 3 out of 5 stars, because there were some parts that were a little bit confusing to me. Um, but I will be doing a full review on this later, and I'm sorry that I haven't gotten to it sooner. But I will at some point in time. So that is all the books that I read for March, and I will see you guys a little bit later. Bye-bye!